when you search a term on Google, like how to, okay, let me get that right, how to cook, you're going to see a list of results here, and you might be wondering how these results came about, that's SEO, but then before SEO, the very key things that you should be able to implement on your website and on your blog as well. And one of these key things is getting your website indexed on Google. Now, when I say getting your website indexed on Google, I mean getting your URL on the search results on Google and on Bing, on Yahoo, and on many other search engines. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can get your website URLs, how you can get various links on your website indexed on search engines such as Google, Bing, and Yahoo. So follow me up guys and let me show you how you can easily get your website indexed on various search engines. Hi guys, this is Simply Simeon here and just like I told you there in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your website indexed, how to get your website coming up on search results just like we have these links here so that people can be able to access your website through the web when they search it because when you have a website it's very important that your website URLs are indexed online except if you have specific URLs that you don't want people to access through search results but if you just run a general website then it's very important that your URLs are on Google search so people will be able to access these URLs from there visit your website if possible purchase or interact with your website just like you may want now guys we're going to move straight in and i'm going to show you how you can do this how you can implement this on your website so this we're going to need something called sitemap and the sitemaps are usually in a that xml extension let me show you that here so the blog i'm going to be doing this for is called podv slash blog okay so let's search that here let's search podv this is just a random website i use around to be able to teach around so you don't have to worry about that it's, around, it's just a random website podv.x so I cannot, I'm not going to put .xyz there podvxyz blog um, blog site map xml just write this in your search engine and you are going to notice that oh there's nothing like that here which means my website is not even indexed and it doesn't have a site map that's good I actually removed my website site map so I'm going to show you exactly how you can build up your website site map now coming over to my website here this is my website here you log into your wordpress website head over to plugins go to add new and now that we're on our add new page we're going to search used seo that's the plugin we're going to be using used seo let's give it time to load so it's going to search around and bring out the used the results for us and we're going to have it here here we have the used seo click on install give it some time to install and when it's done installing what we're going to do next is we're going to activate it and that's it here the button for activate is here let's click on activate and then our plugin is going to get activated on our website so just like it's loading here it has already uploaded uh, activated okay let's give time to complete this loading process and now it's loading and now it has loaded so let's start the site the site first time configuration click on site first time configuration and you are gonna be doing all of this when you are setting up your used SEO but for the sake of this very course here we're just going to be getting to the futures so now look at up these options up here you click on futures when you click on futures you're going to go down and see something like XML sitemaps and XML sitemaps is on now you see I'm taking it off but then if it's off you're going to take it on but if it's this way then you should know that it's already on because when you install the used SEO plugin, it automatically turns on your sitemaps. So now how do we locate our sitemap and how do we know that we actually got sitemap? So what we're going to do here is, let's head over to our website URL. Let me go over to our website. Let me open view sites, okay? View sites. When you click on view site here, when it loads up, at the end of this URL, you type in sitemap.xml. Now I enter that URL in the sitemap.xml. And this is what you find. You can see it here, sitemap generated by a used SEO. Now you see what we have here, and this is what we are going to be submitting to search engines so they can be able to access our website and also at the same time index our website. So here's what I'm going to copy. Now, just before we go down into uploading it, if you notice, I just wrote sitemap.xml, but it actually redirected us to sitemap underscore index dot xml so what we're going to do is we're going to be copying this out and this is what we are going to be using 
to be able to upload our sitemap to Google. The first place we are going to be uploading our sitemap is in Google Search Console. Head over to Google and search in Google Search Console. Okay. Go over there you, in the first link. You click on the first link. It's going to be showing you the about. Click on Start Now. I already have a, web, a bunch of websites on my other emails that are connected to Search Console, but I decided to use a new email so you can be able to get the feel and also be able to relate to it what you are having here because if you are using search console for the first time this is exactly what you are going to be getting that's why i've decided to use it and here is something i'm going to do instead of using this process here it's kind of a long process trying to add up your website here so i'm going to show you how you can easily do that in what to our wordpress website wordpress website here we're going to go straight to add new i'm going to be giving you a plugin that's going to do this for us easily Come down here, let's search it up and that um, let's search up our site key. Okay, I search in that. Okay, let me give another term. Let me give another term. That's the Google Google site kit. Okay. Let's give it time to load. It's going to load up and bring out our results as usual. So it has brought up the site kit by Google. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're installing it now, and after the installation, we are going to be activating it now. Let's activate it. And it's going to be activating okay the activation process is done but now we have to set it up so we're going to click on start setup here when you click on start setup we're going to be asked to link up our email because we're going to need to link uh, an email address okay there's one more thing here connect Google Analytics as part of your uh, your, your your setup okay we just want to get we just want to sign with Google because I don't want to connect my analytics for now. I'll make that in another tutorial on how to connect your analytics. So this is the email here. That's my email, the one I want to use for this. Select your Google, you select continue here. Oh, I, I didn't check that out. I, I actually want to set up, redo plugin setup because I need to actually redo the plugin setup. Yeah, I need to redo that. I made a mistake. I'm going to click there and then uh, yes i want to mark out this because i want to use search console and you can see view and manage search console data for verified sites click on continue when you click on continue yeah you're going to have verified ownership so now the good thing about this process is you don't really need to do anything you just need to keep on clicking on next verify and that's all so now that i've clicked on verify let's give it time to load it's supposed to load up and give us a second menu or at least get us to the main website just click on allow there search console click on setup it's going to do everything automatically for us go to dashboard and then we are going to be able to access our dashboard all right guys so we're back in our dashboard which says congrats on setting completing the setup for site kit and let me be sure that we have everything set, connected so we're going to click on settings here to see if our search results have been connected up okay now we're sure that our search console is connected so when you head over to our google search console here what we need to do is let's reload it up and when you load it up okay it's not really going to display here come over to these three uh, lines up here which is the menu you click on search property and you're going to see our blog which is um, portv.xyz slash blog we're going to click on it and yes now that it's open you can see chain us welcome to search console because it's the first time this website has been introduced to search console now let's click on start i actually don't want to go through all of that so now how do we submit our site map just like i told you earlier we're going to be using the extension here we'll copy this out copy it head over to your search console go down to site maps click on site maps and you can see we're going to be giving something here a provision to enter the extension we're going to just enter it up there and click on submit now you can see it's loading up saying submitting sitemap sitemap submitted successfully now this was actually successful i was hoping it was going to be unsuccessful so i can show you how to troubleshoot it but since it's successful we don't really need to do that but just in case you are trying to do this and it doesn't work you can go back disconnect your website from site kit reconnect it back and come and try it you can as well uninstall your um your used seo and install it back and then sometimes you also need to be careful with the url make sure that 
what you copied is correct sometimes you might just make a mistake like um copy everything here and then you end up leaving out the s or something so that can also cause an issue to the whole process so you try to make sure you avoid mistakes so you don't have any problem along the way the second one we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on uploading our sitemap to bing so now how do we do that head over to here to your search bar enters bing uh, webmaster or creator down there click on bing webmaster when you click on bing webmaster it's going to bring up some results and definitely the first link we'll click on the first link and then we're going to see a whole place here okay let's give it time to i don't want to okay it's has loaded we now click on get started and it's going to ask us how do we want to sign into our bing account and i actually want to sign into my bing account with google i'm going to be using the same mail so when we click on google it's going to redirect us to a google page just like this and you click on the email you want i've clicked on the email i want okay so we give it some time now that we're in the email we want it's going to be showing us if it's to add our site manually or we should just import the site from when what do you mean by gsc it's google search console so i don't want to go through the whole stress of adding the site manually and verifying ownership of website so we're just going to click on import like you can see they are telling us here no site verification required import site maps instantly save a lot of time you can edit after importing if details are absolute okay so i just prefer the import process so we're going to click on the import and we're going to show some few things here we'll still click on continue at, at the bottom there okay we'll click on the mail we want to use just like the mail we signed up and it's going to show us allow access to your google account that's fine we want to allow them to have access to that good it has now brought us here uh it's showing me my rule i'm going to select the website now the reason why it has actually brought this page for us to select the website is for this site map here for this search console we have just one website with like my main website search console i have about five websites there so it, it, you need to tell um, um being webmaster that you don't want it to access other site this is the very site you want them to access so i've since it's just one site i've already selected it here you click on import and now we give it some time to load up as usual so we give it some time to load it's loaded and added up successfully and you can now say congratulations site addition successful i actually told you we're going to do that on yahoo mail right but uh, sorry i said yahoo mail i'm used to saying it calling it yahoo mail we're going to be doing that to yahoo search for now adding it to bing is already adding it to yahoo so when you add up your website search console to bing then you have already added it to yahoo so here we have done everything for this very tutorial now if you have any issue if you are not able to understand any part or if you're having difficulties in doing any of these then you can let me know attempt your comments in the comment section below now you're not just going to live like that guys just go down there smash on the subscribe button and like this video and you can go down the comment section and just let me just type in my website has been indexed if you have done it already just type in i've added my website to search console i've um, gotten my website urls indexed on google just if you don't even want to type any of that you can just go down and say thank you and i'm going to definitely reply to all the comments in the comment section so guys this will be the end of this video see you in my next video